From shoes that look almost identical to your feet, toes included, to a lighter, less padded style of shoe, barefoot running has influenced a whole new crop of shoes. The trend has spread through all of the major um, footwear companies. When it started out, it was um, a little more medicinal. Then it came out of definitely for running. And now different lines are for all different types of exercise. So um, there's some cross training shoes. Um, there's definitely just some workout at the gym shoes, walking shoes, water shoes, all styles. The Vibram five finger shoe was one of the first to come out mimicking the barefoot. They started out um, with, uh, it's actually like a glove for your foot and so each of your toes are um, separated. Kind of the idea is that you use your toes for balance when you're running. Um, and it was a very minimalist sole. Um, still had a, a tread, a little bit of a tread to it, but very, very minimalist. Other characteristics of a minimal shoe include minimal thickness to the midsole, less structure to the upper, therefore creating a lightweight shoe that can change the way you walk and run. For many people, they are a heel striker, which means that they, when they take that first stride out, that heel is taking the first contact with the ground. And when you have a barefoot shoe, it it changes that stride so that you hit more of the ball of foot, which helps with the impact onto your foot as you're running through your hips and your knees and your ankles. And it is said to help prevent injuries. People found that they were sustaining injuries in the shoes that they were wearing. Lots of times there was way too much cushioning in the shoes that they had. And so they were developing injuries like plantar fasciitis. So the barefoot runner or the barefoot shoe kind of came along to um, help out with those injuries and to strengthen the bottom of the foot. It really is personal preference when it comes to running shoes. There are many choices out there, all with different pros and cons. But if you're thinking about giving a minimalist shoe a try, take your time. I would definitely say it needs to be gradual. Um, some people just go and um, because you're using different muscles, you will find your shins or your uh, calves will become a little, little bit sore. So it would definitely, I would incorporate into your training, not just jump in full board just to start out with. Tasha Chu in Sylvan Lake for Shaw TV.